Cycle 9, Dream and Flow. So it begins. I guess I've decided to do a little light editing on this video. And uh, like So It Begins, this is the first time I'm titling a uh, Dream and Flow ever. I would not ever. First time in a long time. And secondly, I like this Dream and Flow idea. I came up with it during the last 108 where I basically section things into like the dream or this is the goal and the flow. This is what I'm going to do. Dream flow, dream flow. So I just have a, a bunch of sections like that. And the reason I'm calling this one, so it begins, <laughs> is I've, man, I have uh, four years of these 108s under my belt now. Um, so that's 12 in total, even though this is cycle nine, the first three, uh, first three or four didn't, um, I didn't give them numbers. And it looks like this 108 will be the first, we'll see, like, we'll, we'll see when I'm on cycle uh, uh, 12 or 15, but I, I think this will be the first cycle where each cycle will be building on the last cycle instead of jumping around. Uh, like some examples of the jumping around would be me working on the bipolar startup. That's something I wanted to do. Don't know how much I made videos about it, but I was working on that pretty seriously. Or uh, I could be teaching Tai Chi. I could just focus on being a Tai Chi teacher and make that my thing. Um, but instead of, uh, and I still teach Tai Chi and will continue to teach Tai Chi, but not as a like a means of generating income. Instead, I'm gonna focus on this whole 108 thing and the flow to your dream thing. So this 108 will be kind of the first 108 where I plan on every 108, I'll build off the last one, right? Uh, it started a little bit last 108, I wrote that first draft for a book, but I'll refine the book some more this 108. I'll refine it more the next 108. I'll eventually release it. I'll have uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, let's get into the, I got my laptop, Got my trusty five-year-old Chromebook here. Um, I don't have that many things. Let me try to not make a 30-minute video, especially if I'm trying to do some edits to this. So dream number one, I had create a product. So create something to sell. It turned into, in my blog post here, which I haven't put up. Well, it'll be up when you uh, watch this. I have create a one-year flow to your dream masterclass. And then I put maybe in there. Point being is whether it's a product or a book or a service or a boot camp or a master class, I want to create something that I sell. I don't know if I'll start selling it inside of this 108. I might, but I definitely want to have something put together that I then sell at the end of this 108 or into the next one. And I'm pretty open and uh, fluid about what that might be, book, course, whatever you know so like i uh but that's what i'll be working on the flow is basically work on that a little bit every day i put in one hour and eight minutes because you know 108 but more than that is obviously good dream two have deep conversations with myself this one's kind of wild and uh, like out of nowhere so last 108 i made a video saying i retired milltown kid but inside I had really, uh, it, the process wasn't, the process of letting go wasn't done yet. But sometime last 108, I, I, you know, I could check my journal to find out when, I thought to myself, self, Milltown Kid is in the past. Why would you go back there if I was going to use a persona or do something different? Why would you move backwards? You have to move forwards. So I totally relinquished Milltown Kid. Then, as a surprise, I, at the end of the 108, I started to let go of Casey Abbott Payne. Uh, and what that means, uh, maybe I went into it in that video, maybe I'll talk about it more later, but I basically made up Casey Abbott Payne as another persona, which sounds weird because it's my legal name, but I, I created a character. <laughs> I, I created a character because I, like, I, I was a Milltown kid, I, like, I... You know, there was no like, oh, I'm, it was a mess. It was a mess. I was a Milltown kid. There was no Casey, but obviously my name was Casey. It was a mess. So then I made it, 
I guess, messier in a way where I was like, I'll make another persona. And, and now I want to relinquish even that, the Casey Abbott Payne persona. I mean, that's my legal name, but as a persona. And so what I want to do now is sort through all of my stuff from Casey Abbott Payne, from Milltown Kid, and, and bring them into bring them into one. And I, I kind of like, I, I've never, like I have, I have like, here's a bunch of old journals. Like one of these is where I like wrote like goals every day for a year or something. And I got, I got these journals over here. I got journals online. Um, and I'm basically going to sort through all this, all these papers little by little, day by day, and just kind of journal to myself about who am I? <laughs> who am I? Oh, I'll, I'll say one like really specific thing that makes it make a lot of sense. There was this moment, because I was doing these yearly, yearly like goal things, or I was making this thing called my personal development plan, and I'd tweak it here and there. But there was one time I was like, wait a minute, let me write all of Milltown Kids' goals. Let me write all of Casey's goals. And uh, it was weird because I had two sets of things I, I, two sets of things I wanted to accomplish, but they were like, they were like night and day. Like they didn't make sense. They were literally from two different people. And you, it was like impossible to really pursue one and pursue the other one at the same time. That was a problem, right? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna figure out that problem, mesh it all together. The The flow for that is basically write in my journal every day, uh, look through this stuff, look through digital stuff, uh, just kind of sort through it and journal and write and think and reflect. I put a bunch of maybes here for the flow, like um, producing a blog post, from what I learn every 12 days or something. Oh, I might do this one. I put it as a maybe, but I think it'd be cool because I'm talking about these two dudes like personas that aren't me. They each had lots of my attributes, uh, but they, they weren't me. They're not me. <laughs> but it'd be cool to make a profile of each one. Like uh, maybe even pull from that like list of goals and add that to it. Thought that might be fun podcast episode oh maybe start doing therapy again maybe you know whatever so that's that's that one um oh this one popped up boom secret of the golden flower um so one of my 108s i was uh in this book this book has like a lot of interesting notes and i'm gonna read and go beyond this book but this book is is cool it's basically a um a guide to uh, let's just I'll just call it enlightenment uh, I, I don't know that that's exactly what the book calls it but a guide for like meditating and stuff I, I decided to one of the uh, things in the book is like you should meditate for a hundred days for at least an hour hour to two hours a day and I was like all right I'll do that I'll meditate for one hour and eight minutes for 108 days and I think I might have mentioned this even in my reflection story, whatever video, but I, when I got to day 59, I, I got all wigged out and uh, uh, it, it's a whole, like I was, I had this disassociation where, you know, like when you sit for a long time and your thoughts are going through you and you're like, those, that's not me, those, I'm not that. And I started having this weird disconnected feeling and it freaked me out. So I was like, I'm going to come back to that another day and um and then i just started reading zen texts and stuff online just read different books let that go um during my reflection just now when i was in that airbnb i i realized oh this is what i cut off at the end of the other video if you watched it um you didn't see it because i cut it out but basically what i pulled from that experience and reflecting back on it I basically got freaked out because you start to see that you're every everyone and everything is kind of full of shit like it's all it's all kind of made up and garbage or whatever 
And it's easy for me to say that. Like, I can say that. You might be listening and be like, yeah, that's true. Everybody is kind of full of shit. It's all whatever. Or you might be like, no, I think you're full of shit. Everything isn't full of shit. Either way, I was like, what I, what I realized happening here, I was like, oh my God, I'm full of shit. And then if, like, I'm, if I'm full of shit, what am I? Ah, you know, I start freaking out. So I want to do that again. But uh, this time, I'm, I'm prepared for that feeling. And I think it will mesh well with me doing my uh, reflections in the journals and whatever. And I'll, I'll tell you, here's a little, like, um, I was just flipping through one of these journals and saw it. But, like, the, the only uh, identity I really had, let's say, Milton Kid, and I'm making Casey Abbott pain. The one thing that's I've always like romanticized is this idea of there's a little, little net flying around of just becoming a hermit and just like fucking off to the mountains and be like, this is all fuck this shit, I'm out. Um, that's all I really that's like in my in not in my mind right now. We'll find out what's in my mind right now when I journal, but uh like if I if I ever thought about who's Casey, I'd be like, Casey's that guy wants to fuck off because all this shit is dumb anyway so i feel like this will pair well as i'm going through my uh my journals and everything secret of the golden flower i guess i if i'm editing i could have could have like i could have this sitting there this whole time while i'm talking about it i forgot that i, I moved things around i was like i can edit and put things there well who likes editing not me all right that's number two number three what is number three i i've, I've forgotten oh number three is pretty simple uh check in for 108 days. Like, don't miss a single day of checking in. Never miss a day. Same thing with the meditation. Never miss a day of meditation. Think, same thing with journaling. Never miss a day of journaling. Here's the new journal. Oh, I, I had two Bruce Lee stickers. There was the first one. There's the second one. Bruce Lee. Badass. Edit that in. I might not, because, well, you know, I hate editing. Anyway... So check in every single day. There's a handful of things I want to check in every day on. Uh, one of the things is, uh, and you can check out my my personal flow, but the things I do every morning, uh, like just checking in every single day. Even if I miss something or my check-in is incomplete, I want to make sure I check in every day and like keep that up. Uh, oh, I'll see if I make a video about this, but I, I plan on offering the 108 via YouTube, one person asked, so I want to figure something out for that. So maybe I'll sit down, figure that out, upload a second video. Um, but there, yeah, the flow for checking in every single day is pretty straightforward. It's check in every day. Um, oh, next thing, dream, my hip. My hip is garbage. It's still garbage. And just figuring out what I should do for my hip. Uh, it might actually just be rested. It's a little upset from all the moving and uh, moving around I had to do, but we'll see the flow for that. Like, uh, I'm going to come up with a, a simple, I got to do some kind of exercise to maintain health, but I can't go run or bike or uh, I think I can walk if I walk slow, but take care of the hip. Last thing, we'll wrap it up here. Magda, Magda threw this on at the end, but to cook one meal a day. I am not a chef. I do not like cooking. I'm not into it. You know, there's so many places to go to eat. There's canned food. <laughs> there's, but I have, you know, like cooking is something that I've uh, thought about uh, doing. So cook one meal a week. And that's about it. Like um, on the blog post, if I have to adjust any of these things, I will leave a comment on the blog saying what I adjusted. Let's see. I think that's that's about it. I, I don't have anything else here I wanted to say. And that, yeah, that there we go. Boom, 108 days. Again, if you want to participate in the 108 days, which I, I don't think... Um, Whatever, get a hold of me. It's easy to get a hold of me. But I am going to do a YouTube thing. I think the YouTube thing I'll do is just one. Uh, I'll post a video every 12 days and check in underneath the video. I don't, maybe I'll post it publicly. I can post it publicly. Whatever. Maybe I'll put it in a playlist and you can hang out with me there. That's it. Well, let's just stop. I got, I got no more notes. Oh, oh, here. Boom. The juggling balls. I saw them sitting. 
because I, I still got it. I still got it. All right, that's it. Love you guys. Peace. Yeah, I'm real excited about this 108 because this 108 should just be every 108 is building off the next sequentially. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? All right, love you. Peace. I guess I don't have to reach in and hit stop. because I can stop it out here because I'm editing. Peace.